Hello, my name is Janet Rowley with Registry Partners. Welcome to the April 2023 coding break. I will be discussing kidney cancer relative to staging and some surgery coding. The objectives once again are staging, clinical staging, pathologic N category staging, grouping, and surgery coding. I'll be presenting a number of examples. Our first one, clinical stage coding. June 10th, CT PERFORM showed a 2.5 solid lesion of the left kidney, no lymphadenopathy, no adrenal lesions. There was a surgery consult performed for the mass concerning for renal cell carcinoma. The patient elected for surgery. That surgery was performed on July 30th with the result of 2.9 centimeter papillary renal cell carcinoma. Does the clinical stage apply? Yes, it does. And the reason being the patient had workup for the suspicious lesion. The surgeon suggested that he was concerned that it was positive for renal cell carcinoma. Therefore, you can take that information to apply it to a clinical stage. What is the clinical stage? It would be CT1A due to the size documented 2.5 centimeter, CN0, CM0 for a group one. Our next example, no suspicion for kidney cancer was found during diagnostics of the patient's symptoms. The patient proceeded to surgery for an unrelated condition. The left partial nephrectomy did show an incidental finding of 0.9 centimeter papillary renal cell carcinoma. What is the clinical stage? In this scenario, you cannot clinically stage because you do not have a diagnosis of cancer going into the surgery itself. The patient was diagnosed at the time of surgery. So therefore, the clinical stage would be CT blank, CN blank, CM blank, and group 99. For PN coding, we have the following example. On March 5th, there was a CT that showed a 1.4 centimeter lesion suspicious for renal cell carcinoma of the left kidney no lymphadenopathy. The patient then proceeded to have a radical left nephrectomy. Pathology report showed renal cell, clear cell carcinoma. No lymph nodes were assessed. The path report described PT1A. What is the correct PN category? Given the patient did not have any lymph nodes assessed during surgery, you cannot apply a PN0 or a PN blank, you would assign PNX. An additional example for PN coding. Again, a mass was found on CT, suspicious for renal cell carcinoma. There was also a 1.1 centimeter probable metastatic necrotic lymph node of the left renal hilar region. At the time of surgery, they did a radical left nephrectomy with retroperitoneal lymph node dissection. The PATH report findings were renal cell, clear cell carcinoma, and that retroperitoneal lymph node was positive as a paraganglioma. No lymph nodes were submitted. PATH T was reported as PT1B. What is the correct PN category? Again, in this instance, it would be recorded as a PNX as no actual regional lymph nodes were assessed. The lymph node with paraganglioma was not truly a lymph node. Therefore, again, it's coded to the PNX. An additional example for PN coding, 
Again, a 7.6 centimeter mass suspicious for renal cell carcinoma with possible lymphadenopathy. Prior to surgery, they did a biopsy in this instance, positive for clear cell renal cell carcinoma. They did an FNA of the lymph node, which was negative. So the clinical stage in this example would be clinical T2A CN0 with a suffix of F because they did the FNA. CM0 stage group 2. The patient went on to have the surgery of the primary. No nodes were removed. Pathologically, a PT2A. What is the correct PN category in this scenario? In this scenario, you can assign a PN0 with an F suffix because you only need to have one lymph node microscopically examined to assign this. And you do have that based on the clinical examination of the FNA that was negative. So you can assign that PN0 along with that F suffix. An additional example, 1012 CT, 2.3 centimeter lesion suspicious for renal cell carcinoma of the left kidney, no lymphadenopathy. In this example, the patient had a radical left nephrectomy performed at an outside facility. You do not have the pathology report available to you. In this scenario, what is the correct PN category? You would record a PN blank due to the surgery being performed elsewhere and no information was provided about the nodal status. It is unknown if the surgical resection included the nodes. There was no OR or path report available to assist you. For stage grouping, a pathologic tumor size is required. T3, T4, and M1 can be assigned a stage group without nodal information, as you can see in the chart below in the areas that are highlighted in yellow. A T3, when N is NX or N0, can be assigned to group 3. T4 with any N, M0, can be assigned a stage 4. Any T, any N, and an M1 can also be assigned a stage group four. Stage group for the following scenario. The patient had a surveillance CT of the thorax with lung nodules suspicious for malignancy. A biopsy was obtained that was positive for metastatic clear cell renal cell carcinoma. There was no surgical resection of the kidney or any additional metastatic site. The CT of the abdomen and pelvis did not show any suspicious lesions within the kidney itself. However, you can assign a clinical stage of CT0, CN0, PM1, stage group 4. In addition, you can also assign the path stage in the same way based on AJCC 8th edition manual, page 17, which allows for clinical T and clinical N categories to be assigned to the pathologic stage when you have a microscopically confirmed metastatic site, which you do have within the lung nodules, positive for the metastatic clear cell renal cell carcinoma. In surgery coding, basically two differentials. A simple nephrectomy does not remove the gliotis fascia. The tumor is removed from within the gliotis fascia. Opposite, in a radical nephrectomy, it does remove the gliotis fascia. The tumor is removed with the entire content of gliotis fascia, including the kidney, the perinephric fat, lymphatic, adrenal, and the gliotis fascia itself. 
radical nephrectomy with m block adrenalectomy as well. Some changes for surgery coding coming up for 2023. A300 will result as a partial or subtotal nephrectomy, kidney or renal pelvis, or partial ureterectomy, or a segmental resection, wedge resection. A400 is a complete, total, simple nephrectomy for kidney parenchyma, nephroureterectomy. This could in include the bladder cuff for renal pelvis or the ureter. A500 is a radical nephrectomy, may include removal of a portion of the vena cava, adrenal glands, garotus fascia, perinephric fat, or partial total ureter. A700, any nephrectomy, simple, subtotal, complete, partial, simple, total, radical, in continuity with the resection of other organs. The other organs, such as the colon or bladder, may be partially or totally removed. In continuity with or en bloc equals all of the tissues were removed during the same procedure, but not necessarily in a single specimen. Thank you. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope it was helpful. Have a good day.